Here are four freedoms we should fight to protect. All right, four freedoms we should fight to protect. Freedom is a huge theme, huge theme for people who want to live forever. You got to have freedom if you want to live forever. All right, here's the first freedom, food and drug freedom, the freedom to have raw milk. We know that in a lot of states they're making raw milk illegal. What type of control freak, control freaks are trying to make raw milk illegal? Like they should have the right to decide if we get to have raw milk, what is this bull crap? We need to fight against that. We need to fight against the people who are making marijuana illegal. Like it's a freaking plant that people are healing themselves with this plant and uh, they're gonna step on our rights and they're gonna decide that we can't have it. What is this? This is, this is beyond evil, okay? And there are more examples of of natural plants that the government are trying to make illegal, such as kratom. Kratom is this new thing that is basically being very effective at alleviating people's depression. It's, it's help healing them with all kinds of health problems. It's a, just a natural plant. And the government's putting it on Schedule 1 drug and saying, hey, you can't have that. It's not effective and it's dangerous. And they have no no ground to stand on. I mean, even, even if it was potentially dangerous, it still shouldn't be illegal because people should have the right to decide what goes into their own bodies and they should have the right and access to these plants. And by the government taking away our freedom, by denying people access to these natural healing herbs and things like raw milk, which also heals a lot of people from diseases, then the government is basically killing people by denying them access. Because without these, these other healing modalities, people will have to rely on the pharmaceutical industry, and that's what the government wants. The government is working with cahoots of the pharmaceutical industry, and it's a huge corrupt industry. And uh, it needs to be destroyed and dismantled. We need to take our freedom back, people. The next freedom, and this should make us angry. That's why I put this little thing here. This should make us freaking pissed that there are people out there, the government, trying to stop us from having healing herbs and just foods that are natural. And they're demanding us to pasteurize our milk. Like they're the, it's like a, a science, it's, it's like science dictatorship. It's a dictatorship in the name of science. Like they know best, we have to entrust everything to them. No, we need to have the right to, uh, to decide what goes into our own bodies and it piss us off that they're trying to take that right away. Here's another right that's very important that we fight to protect. Gun freedom. The Second Amendment. Okay? And uh, clearly we need guns to protect ourselves from criminals trying to break into our house so we can protect our family, we can protect ourselves. You know, someone wanting to kill us, we need to have a gun. Because if we can't rely on the cops coming, what if the cops take too long to get there? By the time the cops get there, we could be dead. And we also need to have guns to, so we, in case of the government becoming a dictatorship, we could fight back and have form our own militias. This is the whole point of the Second Amendment, that people can fight back against their own corrupt government. It's obvious that this is important. And so when people want to take away this gun freedom when people have this kind of attitude that we shouldn't have guns and that should freaking piss us off too so get angry about that that's something to get angry about yes i'm sure tinkerbell will be very very angry people wanting to take away our guns and then the next freedom is freedom of speech Freedom of speech. And, um, yeah, Stell Bell's in the chat, and she actually said, free speech. Yeah, Stell Bell's a huge fan of free speech. Um, freedom of speech. So even hate speech, like this guy, he's like, you deserve rape. Now, some people will be saying, hey, that's way too offensive. That's hate speech. We need to shut this guy up. Get him out of here. 
I say no. Freedom of speech is freedom of hate speech. We should be allowed to say hateful things. We should be allowed to offend people. This is what freedom of speech is. Okay, it's like important. The freedom of speech is the foundation of all other freedoms. The freedom of me defending all the other freedoms, using my voice right now to defend all the other freedoms. It starts with the freedom of speech. If you lose the freedom of speech, you're screwed. So when people are trying to take away our freedom of speech, guess what? That should make us uh, very angry. Anger. Notice the common theme here? Anger. You need to get upset. Give yourself permission to get freaking angry. Angry, enraged. Okay. Anger, anger, anger is good. Anger is an empowering emotion. It's a, an emotion of change. What of all the, you know, the great revolutions of the, the past, they've all had in common, people were angry about something. Get angry, it's okay, people. Get angry about all the evil people that are trampling on your freedom. All right, medical freedom. The thought of uh, losing our medical freedom should make us very, very angry. Right? I talked about medical freedom already. It's basically like if they decide to force vaccinate you, if they decide to, you know, how about putting a bunch of chemicals in our water? I, I think that's trampling on our medical freedom. Are they going to put chemicals in our, in our water supply? Put fluoride in the water? This is evil. That should make us angry. So the idea that they're going to vaccinate us, mandate vaccines is freaking evil and it should make us very 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 angry all right what else <clears throat> so basically it's like if we don't have freedom then we're just slaves think of it think of it in that way you're just a slave you're just your own like a barcode you're just a slave of the government Uh, and that is the end of my presentation.